Hey guys, what's up friends? Welcome back to Community TV, a place where nurses and aspiring nurses come to achieve academic career and life success. In this episode of Vlogmas, I wanted to quickly do a video on basically some life lessons I have learned since working as a nurse on a psychiatric floor, okay? So I'm still at work, it's towards the end of the day. I only have like 40, 50 minutes left. So I wanna quickly um, do the video so I can edit it tonight. Okay, the first lesson I've learned and working as a psychiatric nurse is that, <clears throat> I know you probably heard this before. The first lesson I learned as a nurse working in a psychiatric hospital is to not take things personally. And this is very hard because we're human, but it's so important to not take things personally, especially with tr strangers, people you don't know, because sometimes people can be going through a lot of problems that you don't know. A lot of people are battling mental illnesses and you have no idea. Some people are battling all kinds of things. So it's so important not to take things personally. That means even if you're driving and you see there's a driver that's driving hectically, and that's another thing um make sure before you drive or you know before you step out your house if you don't drive it doesn't matter that you always like that's what my belief that you always pray for um protection or if you don't pray meditate you know but don't be so quick to anger because there are a lot of people in this world who are walking around with undiagnosed mental health disorders or if they're diagnosed maybe they're not on their medications right now maybe they stopped taking it and i feel like a lot of people don't like put that in their consciousness they're just if somebody offends them it's you know human nature to just you know be in your feelings and only focus on you but sometimes you have to come out of your feelings look at the bigger picture and know that you know there are some people who are going through a lot and you could seriously get hurt if, if you're not understanding of that and you're not knowing that so don't be so quick to get angry is what i'm saying because it's not worth it okay um the second thing i um life lesson i've learned is that no matter who you are i don't care if you're a celebrity i don't care what socioeconomic status you are i don't care if you have two doctorate degrees, I don't care how much money you make, I don't care what your status in society is, nobody is too good to um, not end up in a mental health hospital. And I say that with all the respect, if you are someone who has been in mental health hospital, when I say end up, it's like, because nobody wants to be in a hospital, period. But anything can cause somebody to be in a mental health hospital. Um, a tragic life event, a tragic accident, um, somebody being so stressed out that they couldn't take it anymore and you know what i'm just thinking back at all the times in my life when i was severely stressed out and i just thank god that god basically brought me through those times and that i was able to make certain changes in my life that preserved my mental health okay guys like when you see i make certain changes it's all to preserve my mental health and that brings me to another point um take care of your mental health and I gotta take that own advice, me working seven days a week before. Um, I'm not saying you can't have a period of life where you're working hard, but don't make it a chronic thing. Take care of your mental health. Try to avoid night shift if you can. I will always preach that to people here because I care about you guys. Night shift really messes up your circadian rhythm and like your mind, um, but try to, but even if you do if you have to work night shift try to do other things um that can help you like eat right at least exercise and try to buy blackout curtains because i used to work night shift for three four years when i was first um starting out as an lpm but i stopped um buy blackout curtains um buy earplugs so that you can get your sleep um but do other things that help you journal color um, being here, when I see those patients use those coping skills, it actually helps me. How they have those adult coloring books, they ask us to print out coloring pages in the girls' unit. Like those things really help. For some reason, coloring is really um, therapeutic. So don't ever be afraid to ask out for help if you are in dire need of help and you know some other coping mechanisms you can use: meditation, prayer, and 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 also just. Um, 
finding positive people around you, finding your tribe, finding people that are willing to help you, uh, people who are not going to talk down to you. If they're saying they're helping you, but they're talking down to you, no, honey, you don't need that. There's a difference between talking down to someone and um, having tough love. Tough love is good, too, but make sure the person is not, um, you know, being condescending and talking down to you like that. No. Um, so just making sure you're around positive people, okay? Um, another, your surroundings are so important to your mental health and sometimes you may think it's not but your subconscious is picking up everything your subconscious if you don't know what it is google it it's not consciously you're not consciously aware of it but your subconscious becomes alive in your dreams that's why when you have certain dreams that is your subconscious okay another thing I realized is that um, don't be upset if a certain friendship or relationship doesn't work out because you truly don't know people you truly don't know people because you never like that's one thing I learned working here and you know talking to the patients especially the adults and hearing their stories about their marriages and their relationships and their friendships like if something is not working out don't force it that's the universe that's God protecting you you know I always hear that saying his rejection is God's protection but you could put that on anyone like anyone any job opportunity i know it's so hard when you invest in a relationship whether it's a romantic one or a regular one and if it doesn't work out it's kind of like sad but if it's not for you it's not for you like there are people you know like i said who are going around with undiagnosed mental illnesses or sometimes it remains latent and then it comes out or whatever so don't try to force anything if somebody's not meant to be your friend and i mean to your friend don't don't try to force anything and um last but not least i, I guess I, I have way 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 more compassion for people with mental health disorders like working here because i see that there's not much of a difference between us and them which is very very scary because it's like oh dang like literally anybody can become psychotic not just depressed like psychotic so take care of your mental health guys take care of your mental health it's the saddest thing when you see somebody you know they're fully healthy they don't have any um diseases they don't have cancer they're not going through you know dialysis for their kidneys like they don't have cold they don't have any diseases but they are mentally ill so that's why they cannot um, function in life that's so sad some people are calling their bosses and they're worried about their bills guys take care of your mental health and that goes for me too trust me I'm not sitting here just preaching to you take care of your mental health guys number one take care of your mental health number two journal number three do your po positive affirmations in the mirror it may sound ridiculous you may feel ridiculous but do them every single day all around my apartment i have words of affirmations i am enough i am beautiful i am this i am that um surround yourself with positive people that are there to uplift you whether it's a group on facebook i joined groups on facebook whatever it is a community that you can find with like-minded people do that because you need people on your journey and sometimes it could be pretty lonely because unfortunately you know there's some people in the world that are very negative um but there are some people in the world that are very very positive too you just have to be vibrating at that frequency to meet with them number five don't force relationships and number six just yeah take care of your mental health guys and don't ever think you're above being admitted to the ho mental health hospital okay all right peace out thank you guys for watching bye